Hi, um, in this video, I'll show you how to connect e your E2 application with your um, database. So in this case, I have um, ZAMP, uh, which comes with uh, MySQL. So I'll just open it and create uh, a sample database, and then uh, connect that database to our application. So I'll just get something new like um, E2 uh, E code lab just to ensure that you match and then uh, just create it. So in my case, I don't have any tables. I just create a sample table like um, let me see, let me see. Simple thing like um, products. Then uh, click create product. And then uh, there's ID, there is name and uh, price. And then there is uh, what else? Anyway, that's enough for the video. So I'll just set this to auto increment in terms of uh, the type is in. There's something, yeah, index is primary index. Just this is very important. For the name, I'll just put a uh, vocal of length 255. For price, I'll just leave it at, um, let's just leave it at uh, pri a decimal, decimal of uh, maximum of 10 with the um, decimal places of two. I think that's enough. So I'll just save it quickly. So we have a product. Uh, we have a table then now we have a product so i want to quickly connect that with our application so i'll come back to the uh, application and then under config db you can find uh, there is these configurations so the key thing that you need to change here is the db name in this case it's um, e code lab and then for in my case it's root i don't have a password but if you have a password for your, if you have a username and a password for your database remember to provide it here and then save so once you save that uh let's just ensure that this let me close this actually it keeps popping up um let me refresh the app ensure there's no any other issue now the easiest way to check that you are connected to the um how do you call it to the database it's to try and run this e2 code generator it's called g generator it is so you can just click on the model and then so you can see there's the database connection id which is the db and if you are wondering where this comes from it's coming from our configuration right here this so if this changes then uh, that will change too. Good. Uh, I, I don't have any table prefix, so I'll just so I just uh, go right away and type. And you, as you can see, there's the product. If you don't see anything here, it means there is no uh, connection. So in my case, it has pre-populated the table name. Create a model quickly. So. There we go. So as you can see, it has successfully generated a model. Uh, and that means that we have successfully connected to our database. So if we check the file structure, we can find it right here. Have the table name. And then these are just rules. Talk about them later. Then have the labels. Um, so if we we, we can also do a quick crude application just uh, the model class is um, app models product uh -huh. don't worry about these ones we'll uh, we are just creating a simple crude application to manipulate different uh to manipulate the products um, table the data in the products table sorry then uh, product controller product controller 
so with the view path i'll just leave it empty then preview generate good so it has generated all of them uh can go back and uh, just type product good you can see uh we have no product at the moment so we can create a one product quickly something like uh, iphone uh it's three thousand dollars then quickly save so as you can see have the data in the database i presume good if we add a row right from the database we should also be able to see it um samsung z flip thousand dollars something like that and also another phone some some a whatever maybe the price is uh, one five hundred so I'll just go so now if I refresh this site I should be able to fetch all these products so as you can see um, we have connected to the database and we are able to create uh, items so that's pretty much about the database connection if you have any challenge about this uh, let me know in the comments remember to subscribe bye bye